Hi friends, welcome back to Airtex. So today we are going to see an alternative app to use inst instead of Zoom. So let's get started. So it is Microsoft Teams. You can see the logo in here. It is made by Microsoft. So let's uh, sign in with it. So I'm going to give my sign in address Gmail. Okay. If you don't have a Teams account, sign up for free, then click the sign up for free and you will go. They will say it and your email, enter your email. So I am entering my email now. So after that, click the next button. So it's loading, it will take some time. It will take some 2 to 3 minutes, nothing much because depends upon internet connectivity internet connectivity so you have to have a nice connection so you have to choose for which purpose you are using there are three purposes for school for friends and fans for work so i am going to choose for work now so this is the microsoft website microsoft teams website so the registration is free for this the features included in the free version of teams is real-time collaboration with office storage capacity for personal and team files online meetings and video calls unlimited searches and chat messages so co-author you can access, access share and edit the microsoft you can share files or of integrated applications and services Safety and compatibility up to 50,500 users. Screen sharing is available with this. Blur background, which is new. The arrival of the guests is also new. So, it has three offers for non profits, students, and teachers, accredited, accredited academic institutions. So, this is a bonfire. This one is a company which has used this uh, microsoft teams there are uh, tutorials for this also so i am loading my microsoft teams account uh, i run the application from the microsoft store or microsoft store then i am going to take it press add tech my name so switching still take some time the loading time it will take some time so let's wait till then patiently So after all, you can see the Microsoft Teams icon. You can see the T icon. So you can join the create a team now. This is the invite link which you can copy and give it to your friends to invite. So create a team, invite people. Welcome to your first team, a group of people you will collaborate with. Channels, organizer, framework, teamwork into topics and more. Stay connected with the team, start a meeting now or afterwards. So I'm going to create, we well done, you have create start, you'll find more help if you need, okay. Just leave that there. So you can invite people from this, select invite people area, create team, so I'm going to create team. We can create from the office or build a team from scratch, so I'm going to choose scratch and three options are there, public, private and organization wide. So I'm going to choose public now. You can give it a name. I am giving it AirTech. With the description also you can give. So creating the team. So it's done. You can add members by adding their name. Or you can skip. You can do it later. Add more people. Create more channel. Open the FAQ etc. Then. There's activity place where you can do fields, chat, have private conversation, chatting and calling. Meetings. You can start a meeting now or schedule a meeting. So I'm going to start a meeting now. So you can see in here. Meeting with the Varghese. That's a meeting ID and browser. So you can see the video option, audio option and speakers, mics, etc. So you can join now with the we have the profile okay then call we had to have skype for business calls etc 
contacts and also will be available in uh, this thing only file see what everyone is using help one not wikipedia etc so you can import files and etc so now i am going to download section you can keep like a files download files and etc then apps these are some recommended apps by m microsoft teams which you can use it download it from here only you can download it help options there topics training what's new suggest a feature etc then the mobile app scan the code below you can scan the code using the mobile app also which i'm going to show later so you can be it naturally meeting etc then chat private conversation the meetings meetings etc you can start your video gfs etc are there so the tutorial for the microsoft teams and pc is shown now i will show you how to do it in mobile so so before i have shown you how to use it in uh, laptop or pc so i am going to show you now how to use it in mobile so you have to download microsoft teams from play store or your ios or microsoft store sign in using your email address I recommend you to have a Microsoft account before logging in as it will be easier in this way. So they are asking us to sign in. Wait a minute. So take two, one to two minutes depending upon your internet connection. So you have to enter your password of your Microsoft account. So I am entering it. Let's wait. Okay, so here is the organization. So the organization I choose is Airtech. So they will ask for more information. If you want to do it now, we can click next. So I am clicking next. Next, let's see what is inside. What all information they will be asking. So they are asking for security verification. Additional verification the security verification they are asking so if you want you can give it now i'm going back i'm going to skip it currently i will do it later but you have to do it within 14 days until this is this is required so you have to do it within 14 days if you're skipping it now then collaborate with others and share files and channels chat with one with your colleagues one to one or in group chats Make one is to one and group calls with audio and video. So you can create a profile, upload a photo, name it. Then the more the merrier. Add more team members to collaborate with. You can invite others using your. You can invite others. You will get a link to invite. So you can invite others. Free meetings are here. Create a meeting and use your favorite messaging app in app to share the invite. People can join with or without a team's account app meetings to get started so you can share it to your favorite uh, your favorite mes messaging app like whatsapp telegram etc so if you click in more option you get the you can see the call history here which all calls you have done then one drive one drive is a storage place so you can get your storage also inside like share files and get files camera option you have to allow it for currently i'm currently i'm de denying it wikipedia saved options are there then Go to meetings. If you click that icon, the small icon in the top right, then the right bottom, you can see new events. You can create a meeting or schedule a meeting. So I'm discarding it for now. You can see the meetings in here, which are going to happen. And then chat, start a part of private chat. Here, have a private chat of one to one and group conversation. We can start a chat in the chat slot. There is T bot who helps you. It's like an artificial interface to the Microsoft Teams. He will help you guide you through Microsoft Teams. And you can find a notification in the activity area. You can change the status to available, busy, do not disturb, be right back, off work, away, and more. You can add more. The depends upon you. Then, then we have the fee. You can invite members. Search for the not notifications. Then feed. You can change the feed to my activity. Try having a conversation. You will see history of your conversations and activity here. So, 
let's see the settings there the, there is dark theme available available for the mobile app so it will restart then only you can uh, activate the dark theme notification data and storage etc so that's it for today thank you very much for watching this video make sure to subscribe and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video comment below your reviews of this video thank you